Hi, and welcome to another episode of Monster Model Review. I'm your host, Rob Madison, and I'm here today with Ultra Tumba's Angry Red Spider. It's 15 pieces of pink resin. This is a beautiful kit. It's huge. And it's sculpted by Ultra Tumba's founder, Paul Shiola. Paul really knows model kits. First, he's got great packaging. It's not just a cardboard box. This has got a great picture of the beast on it. It's signed and numbered by the artist. Every part of the model was securely in place, tucked in styrofoam and separated completely. There was absolutely no cleanup to this kit. The only time I had to cut anything off was some of the keys on the legs were a little long. I shaved them down a little bit and they fit right into the leg spot. Another good thing about Paul's work is he's got a great instruction book that actually goes into it and tells you how to build your kit. This originally was 15 pieces. The mouth is one and the legs are all separate. The base and the arms are also separate. It's a really clean kit. I glued it up with two-part epoxy glue and it snapped together right away. Again, I used AV's epoxy sculpt and I sculpted in the detailed hair with that. Everything went together really fast. It dried up nice. It balances well on the clear rod used to support the giant figure. I know you've seen this kit in magazines on the review and maybe the website. You really don't get a feel for its size until it's right in front of you. I pulled the movie out to watch a couple scenes of the creature just to get some good references and man, this model is right on. I really enjoyed building this kit. In the future, we'll paint this kit up and bring it back. Ultra Tumba produces a bunch of nice kits. Most of them are based from the 50s and 60s, some of those monsters that are long forgotten and often overlooked. You can check out his website at ultratumbaproductions.com. You can also email him at ultratumba at comcast.com. Other kits by Ultra Tumba, El Baron, The Tingler, which is now sold out, a Conehead Skull, Creatures of Terror, which are pre-painted and I think have magnets on them. One of his newest kits out is Beulah. It's based on the monster from It Came From Outer Space. It's a pre-paint kit, but you still have to glue some pieces together. Anyway, I look forward to any kits that the, this company comes out with. If you're interested in any kits from Ultra Tumba, please check them out on the web and pass Paul an email. Otherwise than that, if you have any comments, suggestions, you'd like to see a model reviewed on the program, give us an email at modelcitizen at charter.net. Thanks for watching.